the most important thing that you want? I was pretty surprised that almost 80-90% of the entrepreneurs came and said mentorship is more important. People over at least 25% of the funding from the Thai Bangalore Angels can take it up to Thai India Angels and get the rest of the uh, round subscribed by various angels in the Thai network in India and globally. Was there such a moment at all where you woke up and said, Oh, now I want to be an entrepreneur? Right? What is that transition? It really inspires any of us uh, when you receive an award like this. I love to work with entrepreneurs. I just love to work with nonprofit organizations that solve some big problems for the society which has a, a bigger impact on the mankind. Taking $3.5 billion in debt rather than going for equity and debt is deadly, debt is absolutely deadly and I see this even in so many of the companies that I watch and I keep telling them the biggest failure that I had to accept was an infrastructure company that we built with all these difficulties which only two of us knew. Nobody else knew about these things, right? Because after 50 employees, 100 employees, nobody even knows what kind of difficulties. Although people were talking about internally about some of the sacrifices that we have made, but losing a company that I never expected would actually go under, which is an infrastructure company. Right? And if you think of, if you look at uh, uh, other similar kind of company, Equinix or even AWS. Many of the capabilities of the AWS, the first generation capabilities is what we have built, right? Are funded and this incubator that we run, which is the Falconex, right? Constantly we were talking about how to run your business in these crucial times. What sort of corrections you need to make, what kind of changes you need to make in order for you to wither through this uncertainty because usually what happens is a, a company that doesn't take corrective steps would be the first one to go off, even if it has potential. But if you run out of money, the game is over. There is nothing beyond that. You may have the greatest product on earth. The moment you run out of money, you will start losing people. So constant touch with the kind of people, giving them ideas. And for me, I was all, and I also teach that's the thought. And we started this fund. It's not a fund like a classic venture fund because all of us were individually investing in companies. So we thought about saying that hey, we're already individually investing. Why don't we collectively come together, give a sizable amount so that way we have we have a little bit more control over the company. That way they can guide the company by right, based on these principles. So we don't we don't have any fees, we don't have any carry. Meaning whatever gains that we make, the investor makes exactly the same gain. Whatever loss we take, the investor will take exactly the same loss. So it's a small fees for lawyer fees and other stuff, which we will also be paying and they will also be paying. So based on that concept. We then wrote a letter to many of the investors who had made money from us in our past. And surprisingly, a lot of them came forward. 